Okay, what's up guys? Welcome back to LSJ TV. In today's video, I've got a brand new review for you guys. I haven't done one for about six weeks now. There's one simple reason for that though. I haven't actually bought any new clothes. So, but now Gymshark have just brought out a new brand, Gymshark Arc. And so today's video is going to be on two different pieces, the Gymshark Arc pullover hoodie and the Gymshark Arc shorts. I've been waiting for so long for Gymshark to bring out some shorter shorts and they've finally done it in the Arc range. So here we go guys, let's get right into it. So first off, Gymshark, we've got this brand new packaging, it now comes in a white bag with a little handle, a little carry cable, whereas before it came in just a little black plastic bag with Gymshark written on it, so up in the quality of the packaging, up in the quality of the company every single day. Okay, so here they are guys, they come in these nice sort of cloudy packages, here is the hoodie, Gymshark in the cloudy pack, they are both in black, the shorts and the, and the hoodie will match exactly, so again, the shorts are in the small because I have, uh, I'm quite I'm quite small, I'm only 5 foot 7, and so I like shorter shorts on my shorter legs. So here is the hoodie, this is in a medium, again in black. The, the colours are going to match, but we'll get into that. Okay, first impressions guys is that it feels great. It feels a lot thinner in comparison to something like the Signal hoodie, which you can see my review of in the description box down below. I'll link that in there for you guys, but this actually doesn't have any fleecing on the inside from what I can feel. This is obviously the first time I've tried this on for you guys, so we are discovering this together as always with my reviews. But I really like the feel of this straight away. It feels really snug on the arms, nice fitted around the shoulders. It has nice lightweight strings to tighten and loosen the hood. It has a cuff at the top so it's nice and tight on your wrists. As you can see the usual Gymshark emblem on the left side of the chest. This is nice and fitted on the chest guys, this is a medium. I am 5 foot 7, as you guys know if you're subscribed to the channel for a long time now, you know I am 5 foot 7 and have roughly a 40 inch chest. This is a medium so this is how it fits on me, from the front, from the side and the back. If you ask me, this would be more for training in rather than wearing casually, whereas like my Signal hoodie and my Pioneer hoodie I'll wear for both training and casual, whereas this I'll probably wear for just training in, just because of purely how it fits, it looks good, it feels good, and it doesn't restrict you in the slightest. I can do all the pushing movements, all the pressing movements with no issue whatsoever, which is one thing I really look for in a hoodie, especially when I'm going to train in it. If you are bothered guys, if you are going to be self-conscious wearing a hoodie like this, walking around, if it is a little bit tighter on your gut, if you're going to be a little bit self-conscious with that kind of thing and I would recommend going a size up because this is a nice snug form fitted kind of fit which really emphasizes that physique and also hugs in all the right places hugs in the lats, hugs on the shoulders, on the arms, on the forearms, everything this hoodie actually the more I wear it <laughs> the more I love it so uh, this is a medium guys as I keep saying and here we go let's move on to the shorts again comes in this nice cloudy packaging which is a nice little upgrade if you ask me for Gymshark just little things like this make a big difference when you're buying a product First impressions, the fact that these look and feel a little bit thinner, they feel that the material feels exactly the same. Both the pullover and the shorts are made out of 60% polyester, 35% cotton and the remaining 5% is made out of elastine. So you get that nice stretchy feel that we come to know and love from Gymshark. So here we are guys, if I just move the camera down a little bit so you can see the shorts. In fact, I'll get changed first and then I'll get right back to you. Most of you guys will have the Gymshark fitted tapered bottoms which Gymshark have brought out a couple years ago now and anyone who knows me knows that I wear those bottoms or shorts or black shorts or anything like that every single day. So this is not a review of the bottoms but for the purpose of this video if you already have the bottoms then I'll just show you how it looks with it. I'll just angle the camera down here. So as you can see guys, here are the bottoms and it matches perfectly with the jumper. As you can see the logo on the front of the chest here matches the logo on the bun there. So if you guys are worried about anything to do with matching clothing or anything like that, which is kind of the point of this apparel, you know, you like to take pride in your appearance, you like to take pride in the way you look in and out of the gym, and this clothing just helps emphasize that. So I really like that the fact that this matches the bottoms as well, meaning that most people wouldn't even have to buy new bottoms or buy the shorts. But again, for the purpose of this video, guys, I have actually purchased the, the shorts. These are in the small, these bottoms are in the small as well, for the record, five foot seven, small fit tapered bottoms. So here we are, I'm just gonna get changed. So I'm ready and change, and here are the shorts. These are in a small, I have a 32 inch waist. So here are the shorts on me. They come down to just above my knee. As I say, I'm a 32 inch waist, so just bear that in mind before you make your purchase, guys. As you can see here, the Gymshark logo on the chest matches the Gymshark logo on the shorts as well. They are also on the same side of the shorts and, and the hoodie as well, so there's a nice sort of symmetrical look going on there. 
Just bear in mind where it comes up to on my legs, guys, because that would bother some people. I know that some people, including myself, haven't wanted to buy any of the shorts because they're too long, and just personal preference, they prefer shorter shorts. So here they are, they come maybe two, three inches above my knee, as you can see here. And they're small, obviously when you get larger sizes, they're gonna be larger shorts. In terms of the tightness around the waist, they are not tight in the slightest. I have a 32 inch waist, so just fairly average if you ask me. But these are a size small, and I went for a small for the length rather than the waistband. Because I know with Gymshark, they have a nice stretchy fit. And as you can see here, they have the toggles which tighten and loosen the waistband as well, which are really high quality, by the way. They've got a nice rubber end to them now, so they've improved the products even further. As you can see here, the shorts are kind of cut off at the bottom to give that kind of rough effect rather than them having a sealed hem type thing like on these Under Armour shorts as you can see here. So maybe I'll do some sort of post review like one month on after having the shorts, see what they're like after being washed a few times, whether they tend to curl up at the bottom or not, because that might bother some people. So if it does, especially if it bothers me, then I'll let you guys know. Because at the end of the day, you want your product to stay the same, you want longevity within your product, because you want what you pay for. Two more things I want to talk about with these. Uh, the price and how it fits me when I'm squatting. So obviously people tend to wear head joggers on, on leg day for whatever reason, whether they're conscious of their legs or anything like that. I personally prefer to rock the shorts. It's much more comfortable and a much cooler way to train. And I don't get too hot and bothered while I'm training if I'm wearing shorts. So to save me rambling on, I'll just show you some sort of body weight squat here. If I start here, and there's absolutely no movement there whatsoever. As you can see with the shorts, there is no branding on the back, just that simple logo on the front. But bear in mind, guys, if you do have, say, a brand new phone, I've just got the brand new iPhone 7 Plus, and this is not going to fit in the pocket, guys. The pockets on these shorts are really quite small. If you have a big phone, and that is going to be a problem. But other than that, guys, that is the only criticism that I can think of. They feel really nice. They look really nice. They match perfectly with the new pullover. The pullover matches perfectly with the old tapered box that I have it's a win-win guys and it's a really good review five out of five for me but that's just me again bear in mind my measurements before you make your purchase I say this on every single review but I still get questions about what size people should buy in comparison to me and why whether they should get one because of the length so I try more and more and more to talk about the length talk about the size in comparison to me so hopefully that helps you guys out because that's what these reviews are for at the end of the day they're no use to me they're just gonna help, hopefully help you guys out a little because I don't know about you guys before I buy any Gymshark products I always look for some sort of review so hopefully if you guys turn to me and enjoyed this video if it helped you out let me know by leaving a like comment and subscribe for loads more good content one more thing guys if you have any questions regarding this pullover these shorts or any of the Gymshark product check out my other reviews I will link them in the description box down below if you have any more questions then please comment them in the comment section and I'll be sure to get back to you so that's it for today's video guys as always thanks a lot for tuning in remember no regrets and i'll see you guys in the next video